I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. So when we last left off, we were working with our Azure portal, and we had just done some of our customizations to the portal, and this is our dashboard here. And of course, you can make this look however you want and pin it with uh, all kinds of resources, um, which just to recap that quickly, I'm going to go into this particular resource, and then I'm just going to hit the pin. And now it says pinned item to dashboard and I'll go back to our dashboard and as you can see we've got a new resource pinned here and then you can customize the resource to some extent you can change the size of it depending on the type of resource that it is and some of them can be bigger like this one is other ones are differently shaped for different reasons uh, and that's all dependent upon the type of resource that was created and when i did that pin it showed a notification and then you can clear them clear informationals clear everyone that's completed or just clear all so we also mentioned that there was this little button right here the cloud shell and that's kind of what we're going to talk about for a second and in our cloud shell, when you click it, it's going to move your window up a little bit. And then you're going to get this bottom section. Now, the last shell that I ran was a bash shell. And you can run bash or PowerShell. And so what it's doing right now is it's actually spawning a container in the background and logging me in. And when it logs me in, it gives me my context in Azure with all of my tools already present. So just to show you exactly what it is that we're doing here, I'm going to go look at uh, Etsy. Uh, Etsy, what is it? OS-R. I think that's what it is. There we go. So you can see this is uh, Ubuntu. And I'm already logged in. And if I do an LS, you can see that I've got a cloud drive. Windows Azure PowerShell. So this is understanding my Azure context. If I type AZ, which is the Azure CLI command, then you can see all of the different commands that I already have available to me. My identity, let's say AZ account list. And then you can see here, it's got my cloud shell. And here's my identity and what Azure tenant I have, what my subscription is. Here's another subscription that I have uh, which is tied to the same Active Directory, Azure Active Directory tenant. Um, I could also uh, do some other stuff because this is just straight up Linux. So I could also do, you know, PS, look at my processes or free memory or uh, what the current disk layout is. Um, I could even uh, make, um, uh, make some variables. So if I say uh, an alias is CLS equals clear, just like Windows. So there you go. Or I could also look up what all the aliases are. So it's just regular, ordinary Linux, and in this case, Ubuntu. But it also has this Azure context. So I could create resources, delete, manage resources, do anything I want, manage my environment from the Linux bash interface that I'm already comfortable with. I don't have to learn Windows Microsoft tools. If I don't want to, I can stick with bash. Uh, or I have the option to restart my cloud shell as PowerShell. So if I do that, then it'll ask me to restart because this is basically going to take the one VM that I had for bash and turn that one down and turn one up that is going to be running a PowerShell interface. So I'm going to hit that and it's going to say restarting your cloud shell. So the process is it's shutting off the current VM uh, or container that I had running and then it's going to switch the screen to PowerShell blue and it's going to be starting my cloud shell in PowerShell. And here it goes and this may take up to a minute. So considering this is going to turn off a fully functioning Linux environment and turn on a fully functioning Windows PowerShell environment, doing it in one minute is actually not that bad. And so I can switch between the two interfaces very, very seamlessly and should take another couple seconds and then we'll be up and running. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're in, and it's now already authenticated me to Azure, already logged me in in the same Azure context that I was in a second ago in Bash, and that's all drawn from my identity logged on to the portal. 
OK, and now we're building our Azure Drive, and there we go, we are connected. So that Azure Drive, just like we saw in the Bash shell, is that cloud shell. So that cloud shell is actually something that's tied to a resource group, because everything lives in a resource group. And then inside there is a storage account. And inside the storage account, which is a standard Azure storage account, we have all different kinds of storage. And I'm going to add here, whoops, into my Cloud Shell. That's where I want it. And I could add into my PS Cloud Shell a new directory. Oh, helps to type uh, Azure. Azure. Academy and inside here we're going to upload a file and I'll make it my Azure file and you can see our notifications updated when we do stuff and let's go back to our cloud shell now and we're going to say get cloud drive and it shows our Cloud Shell name, what resource group it's in, what the name of the storage account is, the shell where all of our files are mounted. And then you can actually look all that stuff up from here. So if we go to our path, and then we have our Cloud Drive, which is here. Drive and then dot ps cloud shell and then there's our Azure Academy folder and in there is the file that we uploaded. So you could get to all of these and of course I didn't have to mount it this deep, but you could get to all of your files that you want to have in your storage account accessible for you right in your cloud shell and let's say I make another directory right here we'll call this one test okay and let's go back to our shell and there's our test folder Okay, so just ways that you can use your storage, but what else can you do with this? Just like with Bash, you could do things like get Azure RM resource group. There's all my resource groups, and if I wanted a specific one, then I could look up my specific resource group. And you can do this for all resources, managing everything in the Windows environment that you're comfortable with, just as if you did it with shell or the portal. Um, it's all a consistent user experience built on the same user identity, which means you have the same policies and permissions enforced everywhere that you are working. And this is the Cloud Shell. So next, we'll look at the resource group that we created, Azure Academy, and we'll start building some resources.